Hello everybody. Uh, today is going to be lesson two, uh, focusing on animals big and small. So I'm hoping that you've already done the writing exercise and today we are going to move on to the vocabulary, the key expressions, and now we're also going to focus on the listening exercise and the speaking exercise. We have a lot of vocabulary. Uh, it's going to be on page 32 of your textbooks. I think that it's easier if you go, if you pause the video now and then you can focus on the vocabulary quickly and then we'll begin. Okay, so now we're going to have the key phrases. Uh, so the first one is, can you tell me, dot dot dot. Uh, which do you like better, dot dot dot. And so these I'm going to show you examples in the listening exercise. Then the next one is, what is or slash are, dot dot dot, for. And then take a look at, so, el boda. So when I, I want to show you something so you can look at it or I'm asking you to take a look at that, for example. Uh, so when I say, can you tell me more about dot dot dot. Uh, so it's kind of the polite way of asking something or it's the more polite way, I should say. So for example, can you tell me more about it? Can you tell me who that is? Can you tell me what to do? Can you tell me when to leave? Can you tell me where to go? Can you tell me why? Can you tell me how it works? And can you tell me which you like better? Uh, we can have the normal way of asking a question. So for example, someone says something and you say, oh, tell me more. But then the more polite way of saying it is, can you tell me more about it? The next example, uh, so if you want to ask, where is the library? You can also say, can you tell me where the library is? So where is the library? Can you tell me where the library is? So you just swap those two. Our next example, how do I play soccer? So can you tell me how to play soccer? So now, um, the next one is, which do you like better? So option A or option B. Um, so for example, which do you like better, soccer or baseball? Which do you think is nicer? Which do you enjoy more? The next example, which do you like better, rice or noodles? And then the next one, which do you like better, Overwatch or League of Legends? Which one do you think is better? Which do you like better? So now we've got what is this for? Or what are these for? Um, so I'm going to show you examples in the listening exercise. So uh, we are going to do the listening exercise like last week. Here is the URL. Uh, you just have to follow the link to the quiz maker and then you can listen to the uh, conversations or the dialogues and answer the questions. So let's start with dialogue one. Which do you like better, vanilla or green tea ice cream? I'm not sure. You can choose which one you want. I can't decide on which is better. You should decide. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on to dialogue two. Can you hold my poster for me? Sure. What is the animal on it? It is a polar bear. Can you tell me more about the polar bear? Sure. The polar bear is a wild animal that lives near the Arctic Pole. Why does it look so skinny? Because they are endangered. Their home in the ice is melting away because of climate change. And now they are running out of food too. Okay, the next one, let's do dialogue three. Take a look at my drawing. Which do you like better, the ship or the car? I choose the ship. Can you tell me more about it? 
It is a racing yacht. People race across the ocean on it. That's unbelievable. What are the sails for? The sails catch the air and push the boat forwards. So remember, you can listen to those as many times as you like. Please don't forget to add your name to the quiz. If you want, you can do the quiz more than once. So you can do it. And if you don't like your mark, you can do it again uh, to get a higher mark. Okay. Let's move on to speaking. So this topic is animals in the news and you can see the example from page 36 in your textbook. So before we go into the topic, I want to go over one more uh, point of vocabulary. Uh, so I want to focus on the word endangered. So we use endangered to describe when there aren't enough or many animals left on the planet. The lot of the time is because of people. Uh, when we build roads or mow buildings, uh, we have to cut down trees or forests. And when an animal used to live there, it can't live there anymore. Or for example, um, in the ocean, uh, when we do lots of fishing and now other animals struggle to catch food because we have taken most of it. So what happens to this population is they, we are taking their homes and we are taking their food, which is very sad. And sometimes um, people also hunt animals for sports. And so what happens to these populations, the population is how many animals there are it becomes less and less over time until all of a sudden they become endangered. And that's where there are very, very few animals left. And if we are not careful, uh, there won't be enough animals left and then they can become extinct, which means that all the animals are gone and they will never come back which is why the topic of today is animals in the news and how they are in trouble and how we can help them. So our speaking practice, we are going to fill out or answer these questions. Uh, so what endangered animal did you choose? What, why is it endangered? Can you tell me more? And what can we do to help? So step one, you need to pick an animal an endangered animal. Uh, so I have included a link or a URL to the Worldwide, World Wildlife Fund. So WWF, they are very famous for helping endangered animals. And species and directory. And this will give you a list of lots of animals that are endangered. So you can choose any one of them and take a look at the others if you are interested. And so, uh, over here is an example if you use Naver and you search WWF Endangered Species and you'll be able to find a translated version of the website. So the next step is to do research. So find out more about this animal. So for me, I decided to choose the red panda, or the lesser panda, or the fire panda. It is one of my favorite animals, um, and I put a little circle so where you can see the facts about it to find out more about the red panda, for example, or your animal. Now step three, in your own words, write two things that threaten the animal you choose. So there is threaten. And then step four is write about what you can do to help them. So let's go with that again. Step one, choose an animal. So I have chosen the red panda. Step two, do some research and find out more about them. Step three, write two things that endanger it. So my examples 
are they are hunted for their fur um, and their homes are cut down. Then one thing that can help, so you can either stop hunting, so you don't allow people to hunt them, or you can protect the forests. So here is the speaking example. So the first question is, what endangered animal did you choose? So then I will say, I chose the red panda. Why is it endangered? They are endangered because of humans. Can you tell me more? They are killed when they accidentally get caught in traps. They are hunted for their fur and their homes in the forests are destroyed when people cut down the trees. What can we do to help? We can help them by protecting the forests and not letting people hunt them. So now for the speaking part, once you have finished writing um, about your animal, you can practice with your friends or your family. And if they are too busy, uh, then you can practice using dictation.io slash speech. That's the example I showed you in the last video about using your computer and a website with Google Chrome and then you can talk to it and it will listen and write down what you are saying. Okay, I hope that this lesson was fun and easy to follow and that you learned some new words and new phrases. I hope you're having a good time and I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye for now.